I would just say the amount of preparation, like the every day before a game, like how like how much the little things you do before a game and the, how deep, how you practice matters affects the outcome of a game. I would just say like studying, film session, like just like taking in those little time, just little like extra meetings with Wash or just like the other guys to understand like the game plan and understand what you're actually doing. Because on a Saturday, things go by so fast and like one misstep is a whole entire play or even the game sometimes. And then where can you take the biggest step this spring in your game? I would say the biggest step for me would be personally just like understanding the game better. I feel like I have a great grasp of the game, just understanding like the little, the little nuances to it, to like our playbook, for example. And also for me, a big area of improvement for me would be get off. I want to be able to like last year I saw myself like thinking too much before a play, and that would be like the impact, the difference between a sack or like a pressure. So this year I just want to make sure I'm just like clearing my head before a play, going at it, trusting myself, and just being confident in my play. <laughs> improving to get off. How, how much of that is done, like, on the field practice now? How much of that is, like, off-season in terms of speed and strength and that sort of thing? I would say get off is a bunch of all areas. For me, like, after practice, I'm there. I'm racing Donnie after we're getting off the ball or racing each day. Or it's Coach Wall sending me videos throughout the season of just me seeing my get off and just me thinking to myself, what was I thinking during this play? What made me go slow? And just, like, also just understanding the, pl understanding the playbook better. Like, if I have a certain duty, a certain, certain um, task assigned to the play, then knowing that, like, I have to do that, just, like, get off the ball and just go dominate and trust myself and be 100% ready for the play once it comes to me. The defense as a whole put up really good numbers last year. I, I need to take that and improve on it when it's, it's a pretty ambitious task. Well, it is an ambitious task, but we just, Coach Golden does a great job, and Coach Walsh just, like, instilling in us the map, how important it is ball disruption, and just, like, every day before practice, we're there, like, hitting the bags, taking the ball out, ripping, teaching different techniques, and practicing different techniques, whether it's in practice or a team period, or even even during individual periods, we're always at the end, uh, hitting with a ball disruption attempt, like, grabbing the ball, scooper score, or something like that, something of the nature, helping us right now develop the muscle memory, so in a game, we don't even think twice about doing that. I'm like, sounds like Jason, I guess, how do you feel physically right now? What's it like working with uh, Coach Lando? I feel great. Um, um, Props to Coach Lando. Thanks, Coach Lando. He's done a great job. I feel looser, faster. I feel I feel more confident in my ability to go and perform in practice and in games and this season. So I'm, re I'm really looking forward to it. I feel better these past two practices, and I'm excited to see how the season looks. What's the challenge, I guess, for you uh, for you guys defensively for Coach Floyd? How does he, like, kind of get you guys going? And, yeah. I mean, right now the challenge is not to be complacent. I mean, we had a really good year last year. That's not something pretty obvious. Not to be complacent. Like, just that last year was last year. This year is this year. We have a whole entire new team. Like, we have a new team. We have a bunch of the same guys returning. But just for the guys who were here last year and, like, enjoyed the success last year, to not be complacent and keep doing the things that we did last year during this time, do it now so we can even build on a better season this year and keep keep things going and make this a standard for Notre Dame because now I feel like this is the standard so we expect nothing but nothing less.